Okay, who did this? This is a fabulous detail. Orca Today magazine. The best diets for your orca. TV vet Ed Helms has risen to prominence as one of the funniest guys in Hollywood. Ed started off working for The Daily Show, hosting various segments and contributing to field reports. He then moved on to star on the successful mockumentary show, The Office. It's been a great ride. Um, really fun, really intense at times, a lot of hard work and uh, some, some of the greatest friendships I could ever hope for. So at the end of the day, just a ton of gratitude. While starring in The Office, Helms made several films, but the one that stuck out the most was the hit comedy The Hangover. He made his leading man debut as the lovable neurotic dentist Stu. The film itself spawned two sequels. Since then, he has showed no signs of slowing down. I realized that, that it's just as important to find the people that you really enjoy working with and that make your day-to-day -day experience a positive and exciting and fun experience. Um, and that's what we have, that's what we all found and I think that's why it was so easy to pull the trigger on on number three for, for everyone. For Jeff, who lives at home, Helms channeled the more semi-serious side to himself as Pat, who seems like he has his life together. I, as a, as a comedian and sometimes a broad comedian, can get a little goofy sometimes and I'm really grateful to Jason's sort of grateful for Jason's energy because it, it, it kind of like pulled me back and allowed me to just sort of explore authenticity and realism in a new way and uh, and Mark and Jay certainly really supported that so uh, Jason brought out a performance in me that I'm I'm incredibly proud of but also I'm eager to sort of share credit for <music> In 2012, Helms decided to do something vastly different from his past work. Rather than his usual adult humor, Helms played the role of the Wantsler in the animated film adaptation of Dr. Seuss's book, The Lorax. I have loved Dr. Seuss since a very young age. Uh, my mom, I guess, just sort of started pounding it into me, my brother and sister and I, when we were little. And, uh, and The Lorax in particular was a book that uh, had a very special place on our bookshelf for some reason. It, it, I don't know why, but um, when I heard these guys were making it, I just immediately was like, I gotta be a part of this. That following year, Helms returned to his more crude humor that he's known for in We're the Millers, where he played the film's main drug trafficker. His latest film, Vacation, proves that Helms is still on the rise as one of Hollywood's funniest guys. Next summer, he will star in Central Intelligence along Dwayne Johnson and Kevin Hart. He will also star as the title character in DreamWorks animated film, Captain Underpants. Let's do it. Let's do it.